if you see a base this size and if you have a IQ that is over 3, then you will raid through doors, because it will have a maximum of 2 doors. But what if I tell you that this seemingly normal 2x1 is actually a secret hidden bunker, and this base is actually fairly simple to build. There's only one slightly complicated part, but I promise that it's totally manageable if you follow this tutorial, even for the guys out there that usually don't build bases. So I'd say we get straight to the build tutorial. Okay, so the start of the space is very simple. You just have to place a foundation with three walls and a floor frame. And have all of that upgraded to stone. Then move on by placing another foundation with once again two walls. The walls can be upgraded and the foundation will be destroyed later. Now what comes now is the only complicated part of the space and it's not too complicated if you just follow the exact steps. So you just go ahead and place 9 trick foundations out. It doesn't matter on what side you do it, just choose one. So go ahead, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Place a foundation and destroy all of the excess twig that you don't need anymore. And then follow the foundations back up to the base. And you can actually upgrade this one. Now destroy the foundations again and repeat the whole process just one more time. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Destroy the twig that you don't need anymore. And follow back up to the base. And now... This part is important because you have to place two half walls standing right here, so the half walls out are attached to this foundation. And then you have to place a roof over here that is attached to the half walls. So the walls are attached to this foundation which you can actually destroy and the roof is attached to the half walls and if you've done it correctly it should have exactly 20% stability and you shouldn't be able to place any roof in here. Now just go ahead place a few walls as a as an entrance and just some protection that you don't get deep on too easily and you're fine. You can place a double door but a single door will probably do fine as well. Now let's come to the inside of the base. This first part is just a normal 2x1 loot room. So it's up to you how you do it, but for me that is my two covered place like this, with a few boxes. And it's probably recommended that you add a shelf too. And of course destroy the twig that you don't need anymore. And on the shelf you can add another few boxes. Now on this side you can place as many small boxes as you want to but make sure that if you stand on the on the shelf right here you're still able to place your doorway or a, a wall frame will define as well because that is exactly how you seal the bunker you just place that wall frame and that gives this more stability and that allows this roof to be placed and you can upgrade it to whatever you want then you if you destroy the wall frame the bunker opens right up again and you can probably fit a campfire on here too now for this part you can place stuff like your workbench with a small box beneath it and you can actually fit a total of 4 furnaces if you place them correctly. For the furnace placement I probably place the warframe first. So you make sure that it doesn't interfere with it. So after you've placed all of the furnaces you should be able to fit your warframe back. And now for the last part you can squeeze your bag in between the furnaces, the loot room and the workbench and now you're basically finished. I of course recommend upgrading all of the base to metal including the bunker because that ups the rate cost by a whole lot. Now after you've upgraded all of the base to metal 
your base has a raid cost of 20 satchels or 4c4, which is for this low cost and upkeep of only 240 metal and 150 stone, a whole lot of explosives. And one thing that I recommend at the end is actually placing some shotgun traps, because when the bunker is open it may be a bit easy to get deep on, but not with those shotgun traps. And now your base is finished. You can of course add some stuff like some drop boxes just on the sides for a little bit more storage, but that is all. <coughs> If you have enjoyed this video, then please make sure to subscribe because that would really mean a lot to me. But that's all for now. So see you next time.